An overall note of, of measuring your success, maybe you didn't book that role, but are you training and are you growing? And again, this mm -hmm. is that double, that's the doubling of the penny, uh, whether or not you're booking a role, if you're continually training, learning and growing, uh, the chances are over a career and over time, you are going to be booking more roles. And that's the thing that you have control over too. Again, we don't have control. You could have a brilliant audition and still not book the role, um, but you have control over your daily schedule. You have control over classes that you take, courses uh -huh. that you take. You uh -huh. have control over what you feed your mind, uh, obviously what you feed your body as well, how you take care of your mental health, how you take care of your physical, emotional health. Uh, so if you focus on that and focus on growing as a human being, and that's not just acting related stuff, that, that could be taking languages, taking other um, uh, sports or learning new skills or traveling and just getting a more broad um broad scope of of humanity by traveling and and uh, building your your uh human experience so that you come mm -hmm. every every project you come together on you are a more fully fleshed out and informed human being so you have more real life experiences to draw upon uh because you you are a professional human being as tom likes to say so yes um so asking yourself are you like, when's the last time you took a class? If you're a person who went to um, TV, film school, theater school, and then you just never stop learning after that versus the person who's always like, whether it's quarterly or weekly or mm -hmm. monthly, like how are you um, really prescribing your own training and your growth? And people do this differently. Um, sometimes it can be like a monthly challenge where you're like, okay, this is the month where I want to work on learning Spanish, or this is the month where I want to take a stage combat class and, and get a little more physical so I can do more combat or maybe do my own stunts, uh, whatever it might be. But actually prescribing that into your, into your daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly schedule, however you want to look at it. And, and I don't want to prescribe that for people, but monthly challenge is a good way to look at it quarterly challenge uh some people are like i'm always in a class doesn't matter like one class ends and then it's okay i learned that what's mm -hmm. the next program that i want to be plugged into the matrix a almost like the matrix where remember they would upload like i need to learn how to ride a motorcycle upload that yep. program to me and just put like you could put together a list of what are all the skills and special skills that you think would be valuable for you as an actor or you're just interested in as a human being, put a list down and then just one by one start taking those classes or, or read the book on that thing or, or subscribe to the podcast about that thing. So you're always feeding yourself and you're always growing so that booking roles or not booking roles, you're continually getting better, which presumably is going to create a situation where you're in a better position to book more roles because you're more highly trained um, or you have more skills or you have more life experience to draw upon. And that's what you want to be doing each. Like, and this is always good to check in after a year. So that way you're, you're thinking about this stuff going into next year and saying, Oh, right. I, I did a lot better than I was expecting to do or like however you score yourself and however you look at this, like give yourself the credit, give the, give yourself the credit that you deserve. You may have not gotten the outcome that you wanted of booking the job, but like there are so many ways to measure your success over a past year that need to be taken into account. Um, I, I always love, uh, zombie land the movie uh and like enjoy the little things these little things add up over time and that's that's what we're talking about today the more that you add up all these little things and like things that you maybe didn't take into account at the moment but you're taking into account now and saying this is something that i have improved upon this is something that i i did that made me feel good i i did this class and i i knew i got better and Right. I've been doing these classes. And I, I know I'm getting stronger and I know I'm doing well. Right. Tom, Tom Todorov loves to say you're guilty until proven talented. <laughs> and it, it takes a while.
it takes a long time to build up these relationships. It takes a long time for people to trust you. But when, when they do, it's one of the best feelings in the world. And it's, it's going to be so good down the line. And you're going to be so great. You just need to trust the process. Trust yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I learned yeah. that today. Yeah, I think it's 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 trusting a process. I mean, it's like going to the gym. It's mm -hmm. you, you don't go to the gym and think, oh, today's going to be the workout where I it's the workout of a lifetime, and I go do a workout and then I'm jacked and I'm a made man for the rest of my life and I never have to work out. Like mm -hmm. you might be thinking, oh, if I would just book this one role, this is going to be the one thing. Um, it is a process. But if you just said to yourself, hey, I'm going to go to the gym three to five times a week. I'm going to spend a half an hour to an hour there. You don't really have to worry. It's almost you've automatically set yourself on a path to success because you've carved out the time and just the reps are going to be there mm -hmm. versus banking it all on, oh, please, is this going to be the workout where it happens? It's like you can see the you can see how that's just not going to work out for you. It's, it's going to be the the little things over time. It's also you mentioned it's it's finding self validation rather than external validation. And it's yeah. having that internal, you, you, you hear the psychological term of internal or external locus of control. So if you're a person, if you're ex external locus of control person, everything around you, circumstances, people, family, society, government, weather, all of that is happening to you and you're like oh, i don't have any control over this so you, you can slip into victim mode real real um quick versus an internal locus of control is everything in the universe is happening for me um but i get to make the choice how, how i respond and how i react to that i'm in charge i'm dictating my own life uh and short of someone being in shackles or being in uh, a country where there's political strife and and um we truly don't have the freedom to make your own choices most of us in, in arts and entertainment aren't in that situation and if you are in that situation and i know there's a lot of that happening in the world right now yeah you you don't have control over things if your government is throwing you in jail for your beliefs mm -hmm. um but that's not really what we're talking about here we're talking about assuming you're in a, a free world and you're, you're able to make free choices um yeah i, th I think it's just seeing things long term versus short term but also leaving room for magic too i don't want you to think like oh this is a 30 year slog and that's all it takes because yeah. there's also the magic of opportunities that fall in your lap and there are those magic moments where right actor right role and boom something blows up and someone uh is thrust into the public eye and wins some awards and is 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 this uh, in a project that's the darling of a festival and that really launches you all of that happens as well but i think the best approach is have that long-term vision of journey over destination and playing the game versus versus winning the game um you just set yourself up for uh it's like you're gonna win regardless you're either gonna win on a short-term um audition where you book a, a role of a lifetime and you do book that dream role or you're gonna slow and steady win the race over time so you're, mm -hmm. you're sort of it's like hedging your bets there uh rather than banking you don't want to go chips all in and be like oh, okay everything rides on this audition if i don't book this audition i'm fucked i'm a loser and my career is in the shit um and then taking some of those chips and being like you know what I'm going to put some of that into playing my own game, creating my own um, opportunities, creating uh, better relationships with other people, investing in my own training and my growth. Uh, and this is the time to think about that. We, we wanted to do this episode because we're coming to the end of a year. And naturally, even though our calendar is just somewhat arbitrary and, and created by humans, um, you could do this at any time during the year. But naturally, around the end of a year, we're looking back on and scoring ourselves and judging ourselves. We're looking forward about what needs to change. And mm -hmm. New, New Year's resolutions are a thing where people are like, what do I need to change? What are the things I need to say no to and let go of? What are the things I need to um, adopt? And 
uh, new classes I need to take. So that's why we, we bring all this uh, into you guys today in this episode. Thank you.